Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us. This is Yoel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris, and today we're going to be discussing the new Alma UI layout. It is today, 11 January 2021, and in March 2021, just two months away, the new Alma UI will be fully live with only the new UI. Currently, it's possible to use the old UI or the new UI, and we encourage all users to already begin using the new UI. If for whatever reason you are still using the old UI, you can switch here, just go to your user details, and you can enable the new layout yourself right here. But we know that the majority of users are already using the new UI. We encourage you to do so, and let's begin. So we're going to be covering some very specific topics. These topics here, we're going to be looking at the navigation bar, the persistent search and the advanced search, the configuration navigation, the improved quick links, the order of the links and the icons, the summary section, which appears for various entities, such as the user, but it appears for many entities, the automatic adjustment for resolution, and the task list. Before we look at these specific topics, let's look at what is the purpose of the change to the new Alma UI. So there's four main goals which we've accomplished with the new Alma UI. Number one, it increases the working area for the staff user. It improves the navigation. It provides additional options for the menu customization. We're going to see, for example, that the order of the menus can be changed. Menus which are used less frequently can be removed or hidden, I should say. And it facilitates improved user workflows. And we're going to see all of these now. So let's begin with the navigation bar. So I have here a old UI and I have here a new UI. So this is the old UI, and as you can see, and as you know, the navigation bar is here on top, acquisitions, resources, fulfillment, etc. And if we look at the new UI, we see on the left that the navigation bar appears here. So the navigation bar moved from the top to the left, and this navigation bar can be collapsed to get more room on the screen. One of the goals is to have more working area for the staff user. So if I wanted to make this smaller, I can click here on the top left, it's search and manage Alma links, and then I can collapse the menu. I've got my mouse here on the bottom entry to collapse the menu. I'll click collapse menu, and now you see that the menu on the left, the navigation menu, is much narrower than it previously was. We only have icons without words. However, if I put my mouse on it, I can see what that is. It's intuitive by the picture. However, if I put my mouse on it, then I see that it, I see what it actually is. And then I can expand it just as easily. I click again up here on top, the search and manage all my links. And I have an option here, expand menu, and now the menu has come back. So in summary, the navigation bar has moved from the top to the left, and in order to maximize the working space on the screen, it's possible to collapse the menu. Then we have the persistent search and the advanced search. The persistent search box was moved to the header. You can see here on top where it says all titles, MMSID. It was moved to the header. If we go and we look at the old UI, you can see it's under the header. So it's taking up more room here. We have the navigation bar on top in the old UI. Then we have the search. A, a certain percentage of the screen there is being taken for the search. When we look at the new UI, it's always all the way on top, this persistent search. The advanced search is also different. If we look at the old UI, we have the option for the advanced here at the right after the persistent search. If we look at the new UI, we have an icon here with a pop-up text 
new uh, for the advanced search and that automatically jumps to the new advanced search. We'll just click that and then we're immediately, you see it's popping out. It's not bringing up a whole nother screen that needs to load. It just automatically pops out very quickly. No need to wait for anything. And that's how we can access the advanced search. Then we also have changes to the configuration navigation. If we jump over to the old UI for a moment, we see we've got the cog wheel up here on the top for the open Alma configuration. If we go to the new UI, we see here on the bottom left, we have the open the Alma configuration, which can also be done via Control-Alt-C uh, shortcut key. Now, when we click the configuration navigation, two things will happen. This, this navigation bar here will change its primary color so the user knows he's in the navigation menu. And also, the icons will all get a cogwheel along with them as an additional indicator that he's in the, the user is in the navigation option. So I'm going to click this navigation here. You see that the bar changed to blue. And you can see that each of the icons now has the cogwheel next to it. Again, I'm going to click Return to the Alma menu, which I can do Control-Alt-C for. We'll see the color will change. And we'll see also that there will no longer be a cogwheel here next to each of the menu entries. Let's click that and see what happens. And there we go. It's a different color, and we no longer have the cogwheel a clear indicator to the user that he or she is either in the navigation options or in the regular Alma menu. Further, we have improved Quick Links. The Quick Links it enables the staff user to customize the Quick Links and view the Quick Links together with the main menu. You see up here, these are my Quick Links. I've got Review Invoice, Manage Patron Services, Create Purchase Request, etc. And I can also, at the same time, I have my regular menu here on the left. That's different than the old UI. In the old UI, either I view the regular menu or I view the quick links, but I can't view them both together. For example, here I've got the acquisitions, resource fulfillment, etc. And if I go to quick links, now I've got my quick links, but I can't have them both together. I need to constantly switch back and forth with another click. However, in the new UI, they are together. Quick links here and menu here. And it's very easy to navigate through these quick links. For example, if we go again to the search and manage all the links, I can first of all unpin the quick links menu. If I click here unpin, now I no longer see the quick links because it may be that I want to utilize the entire screen for my regular day-to-day -day activities without seeing the quick links. If I do want to see the quick links, then I can click here again on search and manage all my links, pin the quick links menu, and now I have the quick links. As far as adding the quick links, we still have the original functionality from the old UI whereby I can click a menu, go on to something, click the star next to it, search profiles in this case, and we see that immediately search profiles was added. That's one way to add the quick links. Quick links can also be added by clicking the search and manage Alma links, and then searching for any kind of uh, menu here in the search box, and then again, click, I'm going to do manage display in local fields. I click the star next to it and boom, it's in. You can see right here, it's been added automatically. So it's very easy to add them. In addition to that, not only do they get added, but also they automatically get a shortcut key. So now if I want, for example, to go to uh, search profiles, I can do Control-Alt-7. Or Manage Display in Local Fields, Control-Alt-8. If I want to remove any of these, I've got the X to quickly remove them. 
And if I want to change the order of them, for example, maybe I do return items quite frequently, and I not only want to be able to do Control-Alt-4, but I also want it to be first in the list, I can very easily just drag this to wherever I want, and the order changes. So a lot of improvements there in the Quick Links menu. Then we've also got improvements in the order of the links, the links here and the icons, the icons on the top right. If we go look at the old UI for a moment, these menus, I can't do anything with them. I can't say I don't want to see resources. I might not see resources depending on other factors such as roles and other, other issues we won't get into, but if resources appears for me and I decide that I want to hide it, I have no way to do that in the old UI. Same thing here with these icons on the top right. However, in the new UI, I can hide less frequently used menus and I can hide less frequently used icons on the top right. So let's take a look. Uh, for example, if I go here, I have my icons on the top right and I click this ellipsis for more options and then I can customize. And let's say, for example, I don't want to see that link to the help. I can just take the help, this one here, we got the question mark here, we got this here, and I can just drag that right down to here to hide it. Then let's say, for example, I want the task list all the way on the left. I can just drag it right there. And there we go, save. And now everything has changed. My task list has moved to the left. I no longer see the help. However, if I do want to use that help, if I click the ellipsis, I will also see the ones which were hidden. So again, I can do customize. Let's take another one, drag it down here. It no longer appears up on top after I save. However, all of those that are hidden, I can still access here. I just click the ellipsis, <coughs> excuse me, and I see the icon. So I can change the order and I can hide those which are less used, providing a more, a more streamlined way to work. Same thing here with these menus here. It might be, for example, that acquisitions is appearing here, but I don't really want to see acquisitions unless I want on purpose to click the ellipsis. So again, we can go search and manage Alma links. And I can say customize main menu links here. I'm gonna click customize main menu links, the second from the bottom. And now I can say, for example, I wanna take acquisitions and I wanna hide it. So I'll move it right here. It's under hide menu now. And let's say I wanna put analytics on the top so I can drag analytics all the way up to the top. And now I've changed the order and I've changed the appearance. And I'll just close this. And now you can see that analytics is on the top. And I don't see acquisitions, but if in any case I wanna use acquisitions, I can click the ellipsis here, and then I've got acquisitions. So that's both in the main menu here on the left and the icons on the top. I can change the order of how they appear, and I can change which ones are or are not hidden. Then we've got improvements in the summary sections. All areas that have a summary section, such as the user, the summary section is now on the right. Let's take a look at a user here. So I'll just use my logged in user. And you can see now the summary section is here on the right, whereby if we were in the old UI and we went to go look at a user, let's take the same user even, and there she is. And if we look here, it will be on the top taking up a lot more of the screen and I need to start scrolling. Here, it's on the right. And that's with multiple, all different entities that have a summary section there. 
Then we've got automatic adjustment for resolution. The screens automatically change depending on the resolution of the person's, uh, of the user's screen. For example, I'll stay right on this screen and I'm going to do control plus just to increase my resolution and we'll see what happens. Control plus. Now it moved on top because my resolution isn't allowing for it to be all the way on the right. And then again, the resolution changes and it goes back to the right. Same thing in the menus. Let's go back to the landing page. So I've got my menus here. Let's no longer hide the acquisitions. So I'm going to take this, move it back up. And now nothing is hidden. And now we see acquisitions again. And now, for example, if I were to do control plus, let's see what's going to happen. You see that now we have analytics, acquisitions, market resources, and discovery. We do control plus. Now I no longer have discovery. Discovery has gone away from here and it was added automatically in the ellipsis. So anything which can't fit on the screen automatically goes into the ellipsis. We saw that when there's a user, when the user displays, uh, when the resolution gets too large, the summary section is no longer on the right, it moves to the top. So it's automatically responsive to the resolution of the user. I'm going to do a couple of control minuses here to decrease my resolution. Now you see that I have all of the menu options on my left and I do not have the three dots. And the final change which we're going to look at is the task list. In the old UI, when we would go to the task list, it would open like this. I'm looking at the task list in the old UI, and it's taking up a significant portion of the screen here, and I scroll through it to get to where I need to go, and then I click on whatever I want. If we look at the new UI, and we go to the task list, you see that it was changed to a panel, the panel which can easily be collapsed also. You see I'm collapsing citations, I'm co collapsing borrowing requests. So it's taking up much less of the screen, allowing me to see a lot more here. So thank you everybody for joining us and we're looking forward to rolling this out live for everybody in March. And thanks for joining and we'll see you in our next session. Have a nice day.